Rowley scored twice as United won the replay at Highbury 5-2. And a few weeks later, Busty signed Tommy Taylor. Tommy Taylor played his first match for, for Man United after his time from Barnsley. And I remember looking through and all the crowd were in. And you could hear all the sounds, etc. And I thought, well, when I leave school in the summer, I might see a lot more of the sea. Meanwhile, the new generation of Busby Babes were emerging, winning the first FA Youth Cup. The Reds made the second leg of the final meaningless when they crushed Wolves 7-1 at Old Trafford. The Babes won the Youth Cup the first five seasons it was staged. Busby's master plan was working, and United had the football world at their feet. Duncan Edwards and his teammates wrapped up the title at Old Trafford that season in a penultimate home match against Blackpool. I remember when they won the championship and um, Tommy Taylor scored a goal which, which just crept over the line. It's a goal, it's a goal. It's a goal. To win the championship was, was fantastic and it was just the start of everything that that Mad Busby had ever, ever planned for, for the club. The Busby Babes made it back-to-back -back titles the following season, when Bobby Charlton made his debut, scoring twice in a 4-2 win over Charlton Athletic. It was also the year United played under floodlights for the first time. The first match under lights was a 2-0 defeat against Bolton. I remember coming down to the ground once in the summer to get my wages. It was empty. There was, there was no game on, you know. And the bus came up, and, and about 20 people got out of this bus. And they said, yeah, Bobby Charlton. I said, and I said, uh, what are you doing here? You know, there's no game on. And they said, uh, we couldn't see a way anymore. We had to come down and, and see how the, how the floodlights were going out. To be able to play.